Hi, I'm Brooke. I'm an EMDR therapist, and today I'm here to walk you through the containment exercise that we use in EMDR. So what I want you to do before we start with anything is just take a moment and we're going to acknowledge how wonderful our brain is and how much capacity it has to keep you safe. Um, when we go through distressing or traumatic events, our brain stores everything that we see or hear. It, it stores things we smell or experience in any way. And it does this to keep you safe. And so what I want you to notice is how it's kept you safe over the years by using that information to show you when you're in a, a scary or dangerous situation. Sometimes it stores too much. When we've been too many through too many things or too big of things for it to handle, it can store too many things and other things can start to resemble things that are traumatic. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna help organize that today. The other thing that I want you to just take a moment before we get started is to realize that we're not hiding these things or repressing them. We're simply putting them away for a later time, maybe a time where you can sit down with a therapist a friend or a partner and walk through these things when you're ready but we're not going to be doing this to hide those things or repress them um, our brain needs to know that we're coming back to them in order for the container to work so to start with I want to encourage you to make yourself comfortable and I want you to think about whether or not it would be better if you have your eyes opened or closed and so if you want to close your eyes that's fine most people do um, but I want you to start by just taking a big deep breath. And now what I want you to do is I want you to envision the safest place that you can think of to keep these really important moments in your life. For some people, they like to put things down in a book because they feel safer using their words. Others, it might be a big safe, um, a Tupperware container. Take a moment and think of what comes to mind for you as something that can keep all of this safe. Now when you have it, we're really going to experience it for just a second together. I want you to take a moment and I want you to notice what it looks like. Really describe the intricate details of your container. Any divots if the latches are a different color or material. What do you notice? Now I want you to go through and I want you to acknowledge how it feels. And just visually touch it in your mind. <laughs> I want you to notice, is it plastic? Is it cold metal? Does it have a texture? What are you experiencing? And then lastly, I want you to notice how it feels and sounds when you open it. So if there's a key, notice that. Or a keypad. Is it making noise? What about when the latch opens? Or the book opens? I want you to hear how firmly it, it sounds when it opens. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to take a minute and allow ourselves to release those things that we've been carrying into this container. So however they come to mind for you, for some people, they're pictures or papers, whatever works. But I'm gonna have you put all of the moments that you can think of from your past, starting in childhood, and working up all the way to today, we're gonna put those in this container, acknowledging how heavy those have been. So I want you to go through and think of them. One by one, placing them in a safe space. moments 
And when they're in there, we're going to take the moments you're struggling with today. It could be work stress, family stress, whatever it is. We're going to place that in the container too. And finally, I want you to go ahead and think about those future things in your world that you're stressing about. Any big goals or dreams, some bad news that you got, anything you can think of that needs to go in there as well. And when everything is in, I just want you to take another big deep breath. And notice what it feels like to separate yourself from those moments. And then we're going to close our container. And again, it's really important to notice what you're experiencing as you do so to help you really latch onto this. So I want you to notice how it sounds as you close your container. Whether there's a latching or a thud another keypad. And once it's closed, I want you to find a place to keep it that's really safe. That could be with me. You could leave it in an office somewhere, a closet, under a bed. But each day you can take and put different events in here, whether they be from work or school or home and put those back in the container. However, I encourage you not to pull anything out of the container until you have the appropriate amount of time to give to those moments. Because again, these are important moments. We put these things in the container to remind our brain that bedtime isn't the time to deal with them, that work isn't the space for them, and that when you're with people that you love, you don't have the appropriate energy to give to them either. So when you do, we can revisit them. But until then, they're safe here. <laughs>